Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that this video gets recommended to other YouTube viewers as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Shocking, APC killer squad arrested hours to the election. Few hours to the commencement of the gubernatorial poll in Lagos State, Dino Milai, spokesman for the Presidential Campaign Council of the People's Democratic Party, shared a video showing the moment Security operatives arrested some men whom it described as a killer squad of the All Progressive Congress, APC. Dino Milaye accompanied the video with the caption that reads, Killer squad in APC crested cars arrested today by security agencies in Lagos, Ogao. In the video, the man could be seen lying with their face on the ground after the arrest. The video also showed the guns in their possession. While many heaped praises on the security operatives who effected the arrest, some have called, at night, called on Nigerians to shun violence during the gubernatorial election. Recall that the Inspector General of Police, Usman Baba, had said that the force arrested 203 persons for various electoral offences during the February 25 presidential and national assembly elections and recovered 18 firearms from political thugs. Usman Baba, in a statement issued through the Force Public Relations Officer, CSP Olumuiwa Adejobi, says that the suspects were arrested in 185 major incidents which the police responded to. The statement reads, IGP applauded the high level of resilience and utmost professionalism displayed by officers and men of the Nigerian police, as well as other security agencies. In the course of the election, security operations in line with the reviewed standard operational guidelines and rules for police officers and other security agents on electoral duties, which was issued <coughs> which was issued to all officers in the countdown to the election operations. He equally attributed the professionalism of the officers to the various pre-election pieces of training, meticulous planning, massive operational assets, procurement and deployment, as well as prioritized welfare the IGP noted that about 185 major incidents were responded to by the police across the country during the elections, while a total of 203 offenders linked to various electoral offenses and sundry crimes have so far been arrested and 18 firearms of various calibers were recovered from political thugs during the exercise. Second is, the, is to assess the security situation at all levels in the immediate aftermath of the February 25, 2023 set of elections. This is with a view to identifying trends and patterns within the post-election security space and draw influences on possible threats that may require mitigation ahead of the next round of the national electoral process on March 11, 2023. According to the statement, 
The Inspector General of Police reiterated the commitment of Nigeria Force to evolving pathways to incrementally strengthen its operational capacity and professional knowledge in navigating through the complex electoral process dynamics to police our democratic heritage and meet the expectations of the electorate. Furthermore, IGP Usman Baba urged parents and guidance to prevail on their children to resist the urge of being recruited as cannon folders or destabilizing agents to disrupt the nation's electoral process. The Nigerian police under my watch will be usurping pardon me, the Nigerian police under my watch will be unsparing of such elements and their sponsors the IG want. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't, guys. Thank you very much for always watching and supporting us on this channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.